Hi everybody, Gerdlo from Cape Town. Welcome to another video. This one's going to be the second video, part two, in my training video series. Here I'm going to cover shoulders and traps. As I mentioned in part one, this is typically the best training approach for the older guy. Now there's a lot of things that I discussed in my first video and unfortunately I need to discuss all the basics again in each of these four part videos. I want these basics to really sink in. You really need to know them by heart and live by that rules. Because that is what determines whether the older guy's body is primed optimally for growth or not. First, the foundation principles for the older guy. Let's look at that quickly. The over 40 and especially the over 50 body cannot train like a 20 or 30 year old body. It's simply going to break. And there's a lot of science and a lot of reason behind it. I'm not gonna go into everything here. Watch some of my other videos. Point number two, this training system is not meant to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, this training system is meant for a healthy, fit, muscular looking older body. Number three, fancy moves, leave that to the youngsters. We, the older guys, stick to the core type of moves. We stick to the compound moves that's time proven to deliver the results. Plus, in a recent study that was done, it was proven that uh, heavy compound moves, especially in older people, helps to release extra testosterone and extra growth hormone, and that is exactly what us older guys need. Number five, if your blood testosterone is not healthy, nothing at all is going to happen, guys. That is the first step when you're over 40 and you're venturing this route is to get your blood testosterone checked. Now, there's a home testing kit. You can do it in the comfort of your home. I'll put up the link for you on the screen. You can order it there and you can get a 20% discount. I've did some things behind the screens for you guys. And the moment that you got your results, that is when you start on your journey to start increasing your testosterone. So I'll also put on the screen the link to the T-Managed Plan. That is a systematic plan that you put in place to bring your testosterone levels up. Point six, all of this is going to be worthless, all these other five points, if you do not follow a focused diet to achieve your goals. If you're just going to eat haphazardly pizzas, burgers, McDonald's, whatever, guys, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Really, I'm not joking, nothing is going to happen. This is the first huge step you need to get under control. Diet determines 80% of your success. I'm gonna put up a link for you on the screen where you can get a very solid cutting diet to start with. And as I said last time, uh, if you're completely new to bodybuilding and training, don't jump into this four part video series training system. Rather go for your first three months. You go and do the starting from scratch system that I've developed. I'll put the link for you up on the screen. Follow that link and do that three month system. Then you can come back and you, and you get into this four part video series system. Right, now to start with the actual training for the shoulders and traps. Again, I'm focusing on the building phase environment. The purpose of a building phase environment is to increase muscle size and also have a slight increase in your body fat levels to help you to optimally increase your muscle size. Now, as much as you know, I've discussed this in the past, you stick to a building phase training plan for roughly a three month period. Then you have to change it over to a cutting phase uh, training program and then again building phase and so on and so on and so on. This is very specific for the older guy. It's help, helping to uh, relieve uh, the pain and the aches of the tendons and joints and also help the tendons and joints give them time to heal, repair and strengthen for the next building phase environment. Because in the cutting phase, you lower your weights drastically that you uh, exercise with. I lower my weights around about 30% and you also do much more reps per set. Typically something like 15 to even 20 reps per set I do in my cutting phase. The whole idea of the building phase is that you, that you train to absolute failure. Failure means that point where that muscle simply cannot lift that weight anymore. With this system, you'll be training four days a week. This particular training program, the shoulders and the traps, that is typically my day two, which I slot in on Tuesdays. But you can add a fifth day. The fifth day would traditionally be Saturdays. We make it Sundays too, but I make it Saturdays. And that is where you focus purely on your lagging muscle groups. You don't train anything else, but only your lagging muscle groups. Now, very important, before we get to the actual training, what is my methodology on intensity training for the older guy? Because the intensity, the muscle failure aspect, that is the crucial part of what allows you to increase the muscle size. If you don't train the muscle to a point of failure, the body is not really going to respond and send the signals that this muscle needs to increase its size. Now remember, we're in the building phase environment, so your eighth rep is where you fail, complete and utter muscle failure on your eighth rep. That is before the age of 40. The body can take it. You train every set to the point of failure on your eighth rep. 
and you will grow. Right, but now you're over 40. So between the ages of 40 and 50, I say only to 90% failure rate. So you round about stop at your seventh rep. Just close of absolute muscle failure. Ages 50 to 60, I say around about 80% failure rate. And that is where you will then stop at to six reps to six and a half reps out of eight reps. So you'll have another one and a half to two reps to go before you reach absolute muscle failure. Age 60 to 70, there you got a 70% failure rate. And there I say you stop two to three reps short of absolute muscle failure. One, now why is the methodology on intensity like that? Simply guys, you, because you will find that the older that you get, it really gets tough to go to the point of absolute failure. And for the older guy, continuously going to the point of absolute fail, failure will result in injury. Our tendons, our joints, our body is not as strong as it was in the past. So we have to put in place a certain methodology to protect our bodies in bodybuilding as we age. Your training for today, shoulders and traps, is gonna be 23 sets in total. A little bit more than you did the previous day, day one, but it's a little bit smaller muscles groups that you train so the body can handle it. But before you start with the actual weight training, let's do the warm up. Again, I say here five to 10 minutes. The purpose is just to get the blood flowing and the muscles warmed up, especially things like your tendons. Now I suggest two to three sets of push-ups, standard push-ups, nothing fancy, and about two to three sets of 25 body squats. And now we finish with the warm-up. Now after each set that you're gonna do, you're going to, between the sets, you're going to stretch the muscle that you just trained for one to two minutes. Maybe I'll do a stretching video in the future, but for now, just go and search on internet, you know, the muscle group and stretches, and then it will give you basic stretches that you can do. Your first exercise, side lateral deltoid raises. Deltoid, the shoulder. You do it with dumbbells. Now you can do it in two ways. Either you do it with both arms together, or you can hold on to something that stabilizes the body and just do it with one arm at a time. Now what I've found is that when you hold on to something and you do just one arm at a time, it gives you more focus to actually lift a heavier weight. And I believe it helps with better shoulder development. You'll do three sets of eight. Next one will be shrugs. This you can do with either the barbell or with dumbbells. Here you do two sets of eight. Now again, yeah, I find that doing it with the dumbbell helps me with more control and helps me to focus the trapezium muscle better. Next one, front dumbbell lateral raises. Lifting the weight up to the front. So again, yeah, two sets of eight with each arm. The next one will be seated calf raises. Okay, just, just before we move on to the next one. Please be very careful guys, not to swing things up and use your hip and everything to throw things. Keep your, your whole body when you do these exercises completely stationary. The only thing that must move is the shoulder and the arm must be in a complete straight position to bring that weight up. Also, don't twist the hand as you bring the weight up because that plays undue strain on your elbow and you'll get tennis or golfer's elbow. Always let only the target muscle do the work. Don't use all other muscles to help to get the weight there. Right, seated calf raises. Three sets of 25 reps. When you're in the up position, the top position of the calf raise, keep it there for about a second and squeeze that calf muscle before you release. Now again, back to shrugs. And again, you can do it with either dumbbells or with a barbell. Two sets of 10 this time. Next one. Bend over rear deltoid flights. Two sets of eight here again, guys. And not higher than the shoulder. Okay, next one is abs. You do the captain's chair knee raise. This is also called Roman chair, but Roman chair, you don't bring your legs that high up. With a captain chair knee raise, you actually bring your knees up to touch your chin without lowering your chin. So it's, it's quite a crunchy move for your abs. Yeah, three sets of 20. Okay, after that, we're on to the military press for the shoulder. And this again can be done with either the dumbbells or the barbells. What I do suggest is that you get your bench straighten up at the back to support your back, sit against it. Especially for us older guys, we're not so stable anymore, <laughs> so we need stabilization, things to help us not to hurt ourselves. You're gonna do two sets of 10. Okay, now the last one with weights is going to be the upright row that you're gonna do with the EZ bar. Two sets of 10 reps. 
This is a nice move. It trains the shoulder, the whole top part of the shoulder, plus it trains your trapeziums. So it's basically a nice finishing off exercises because those are the two main muscle groups that you train today. Then guys, for cool down. Now, after you finish with your training session, I suggest you do for three to four minutes stretches, stretching all the muscles that you now worked out in your session. Okay, but before we finish, some very important points to remember. No throwing weights, guys. Please, you need to focus on the muscle that's doing the job, and that's the only thing that needs to move during your exercise. Not your hips, not your shoulder and your elbows, or whatever, and so on. Only the muscle that's doing the job must move. Point two, keep training sessions as short as possible, especially us older, older guys. We're not allowed to be in the gym for longer than 60 minutes for an intense workout. Then our bodies very easily will go into catabolic mode. Catabolic is bad. That means your, your body now starts using your energy from your muscles. And you don't want to do that. When you do that on a regular basis, you'll find that you, your growth will completely stagnate and you will actually even get smaller muscles. Point three, slight soreness is good and should be expected the next day, but not the kind of sore that you struggle to get out of bed or you struggle to walk. That is bad. That means there is so much muscle fiber damage as a result of your intense training session that it's going to take so long to repair that uh, before you hit your next session, the repair cycle is not going to be complete. And then it didn't even get to the growth cycle. So it's going to be the whole time in the repair mode, repair mode, repair mode, repair mode, and you'll find eventually no muscle growth and again, even smaller muscle. For it's always a good idea to grab that window of opportunity that hour after your training, but the closer after training, the better. So immediately after training, uh, throw down something like a banana or an apple and uh, drink about 20 to 40 grams of whey protein powder. Just mix it with water. Last one, the 16 training principles. Guys, please do not underestimate that. When you keep your training program, year in or month in month out exactly the same the body is going to grow accustomed to it and it's going to stop to respond to your training inputs so you want to keep your training fresh and your attack fresh always now the way to do it is not by changing the exercises that's bad because the exercises especially the ones in here that's the ones that work for the older body so keep those exercises but use these 16 training principles i'll put it on the screen for you now and go through them systematically for example Week one of your training, you use training principle one. Week two of your training, you use training principle number two. Week three of your training, you use training principle number three. And so you go on, reach the end, you cycle again back at the start. This will really, guys, I'm telling you, elevate your gameplay drastically. And if you want to know more detail about the training principles, of course, that's in my advanced system too, my coaching system that I do for everybody. But you can also just type in on the internet. You should find more than enough information. Right, so this is the shoulder and traps. This is typically my Tuesday training. The next video that I will do will be back and triceps. So next week, guys, I'll bring out the third video. Now I'm going to kindly ask you guys, please to do a small donation to my site to help me keep my information free and coming. I speak positively into many people's lives and uh, I don't get money for it. The only thing that keeps me going is by people that's making small donations. So please, if you can afford it, I ask you to help me to keep, to keep everything on air. But for those of you that want my advanced coaching system too, that is where I spend about four or five hours working out the system, my system, incorporating all my teachings for your body, your goals and your age. And it's step by step plan on how to get everything in place. And then I also walk a path with you for the next six months and so on. Those of you that want to sign up, I'll put up the link for you on the screen you can go to that place to sign up or find out more the last thing i want to mention my uh, supplements order page this is a new page to my site where i list all the supplements that i discuss in all the videos and that i use i list what the supplements is and where you can find it and for some of them i even get discounts for you so keep an eye open on that page there you can even order things like trt and that is it guys, Gertler from Cape Town, signing off, train very very hard, and next time I hear from you, you need to be bigger, but please stay safe everybody, crazy times, cheers.